For generations, breeders believed in one sacred rule, that the purer the bloodline, the greater the rooster. Legendary strains were guarded like family heirlooms, spoken of with pride, and protected with secrecy. In the world of Gamefowl, the question was always the same. Is he pure? But here's the surprising truth. Purity alone has never guaranteed greatness. Many of the fiercest warriors in history weren't the product of one isolated strain, but the result of carefully crafted combinations. This is where science meets tradition. A hidden force in genetics, known as hybrid vigor or heterosis, has been quietly shaping champions for decades. It explains why, when two distinct bloodlines are crossed, their offspring can grow stronger, faster, and tougher than either parent. Hybrid vigor is more than just chance. It's the secret weapon behind many legendary breeders. And today we're unlocking this mystery, breaking the old myth of purity, and revealing how powerful combinations can take gamefowl performance beyond expectation. Hybrid vigor, scientifically called heterosis, is the phenomenon where the offspring of two different bloodlines outperform either parent. In simpler terms, when two distinct families are crossed, their chicks often grow faster, develop stronger bodies, recover quicker, and show more endurance than either side of their ancestry alone. But why does this happen? The secret lies in the genes. Every bloodline carries strengths and weaknesses. When those weaknesses overlap in pure breeding, flaws can become locked in over generations. But when two unrelated lines meet, the genetic differences often complement each other. The strengths of one parent cover the weaknesses of the other, creating a chick that is genetically tougher, sharper, and more resilient. This is most visible in what breeders call the first-generation cross, or F1. These roosters often display the highest level of hybrid vigor, strong, explosive, and full, of natural ability. While later generations may stabilize or lose some of this boost, the F1 cross remains legendary for producing warriors with a noticeable edge. In short, hybrid vigor is not magic. It's nature's way of rewarding diversity. And in the hands of a skilled breeder, it can be the difference between a good rooster and a great one. Let's go deeper. Why does hybrid vigor actually happen? Think of two bloodlines. Each one carries its own set of strengths, but also hidden weaknesses. When bred within the same line for too long, those weaknesses can surface, slower growth, fragile health, or reduced endurance. But when two genetically different lines are crossed, those weaknesses are often masked, while the strengths are amplified. This is the power of genetic diversity. By bringing together distant traits, the offspring can develop stronger stamina, quicker reflexes, denser bone structure, sharper cutting ability, and even tougher immunity against disease. It's like nature giving the chicks an extra push forward. For example, imagine crossing a hardy hatch, known for durability and power, with a speedy sweater, celebrated for cutting and agility. The result? An F1 rooster that carries both toughness and speed two qualities that make a dangerous combination in the pit. This is the science of hybrid vigor. Strengths meeting strengths, weaknesses disappearing, and a new level of performance emerging. This principle isn't unique to Gamefowl. It's a law of nature. Hybrid vigor has been shaping farming and animal husbandry for centuries. Farmers learned long ago that when they cross two distinct varieties of corn, the result is not just a bigger harvest, but plants that resist pests, survive harsh weather, and thrive where pure strains fail. The same is true in cattle ranching. Crossbred herds often grow faster, produce more milk or meat, and withstand diseases far better than purebred stock. Nature itself runs on diversity. Forests flourish because of the mixture of species, not the dominance of one. Even in the wild, animals naturally seek out mates outside their immediate family line, instinctively avoiding inbreeding to keep their offspring strong, and gamefowl are no different. Just as a farmer crosses crops for yield and a rancher crosses cattle for strength, the breeder who understands hybrid vigor is not breaking tradition. 
he is following the very pattern of nature. By embracing diversity, he is unlocking the hidden potential within his birds. Long before science gave it a name, breeders had already seen it with their own eyes. When two strong families were crossed, the offspring often carried something different, an edge that couldn't be explained by purity alone. In the pit, this advantage becomes crystal clear. A rooster that springs to his feet faster after a blow, one that breathes deeper and lasts longer, or one that maintains his cutting speed even in the final moments of a hard-fought match. These are classic marks of hybrid vigor. It isn't. About being the purest, it's about being balanced and complete. Crossbred warriors often recover quicker, endure punishment with surprising resilience, and fight with a confidence that comes from having multiple strengths working together. History has shown this time and again. Some of the most successful derby winners were not pure strains, but smartly crafted crosses. The power of one line fused with the speed of another, creating a game foul that could outlast and outfight more pure opponents. In the eyes of seasoned breeders, these roosters carried a secret advantage, the invisible hand of hybrid vigor, shaping them into natural-born competitors. Not every cross produces champions. In fact, careless mixing can just as easily weaken a line as strengthen it. The secret lies in strategy, understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each family and blending them with precision. Breeders, who master this art think like architects. They don't just combine two birds at random. They choose lines that complement each other. For example, a sweater is prized for his blazing speed and razor-sharp cutting. A hatch is valued for his raw power, deep gameness, and durability. When crossed, the result can be explosive, a rooster that not only strikes fast, but also strikes hard, and refuses to surrender even under the toughest pressure. Other breeders might use a Kelso for his ring intelligence, crossing him with a powerful hatch to add brain to brawn. Or they might add a roundhead to enhance timing, accuracy, and style. Each choice is deliberate, aimed at building a bird that is more complete than either parent alone. This is why seasoned breeders call strategic crossbreeding their secret weapon. It's not about luck, it's about knowledge, experience, and vision. The true breeder is a craftsman, carefully designing warriors that embody the best of multiple worlds. But beware, chasing hybrid vigor without discipline can destroy a breeding program. While the F1 cross often shines with explosive qualities, the generations that follow can quickly lose that edge if not managed carefully. Random crossing is one of the most common mistakes. Without a clear plan, the breeder may create roosters that are inconsistent, some outstanding, others disappointing. Too many mixtures can blur the traits, producing birds that are neither fast, nor strong, nor truly game. Even worse, without strong foundation lines to return to, a breeder risks losing the very traits that made the bloodline valuable in the first place. Hybrid vigor works best when built on solid roots. Without that foundation, the results can be unpredictable, unstable, and impossible to reproduce. Balance is everything. The wise breeder maintains pure families as reservoirs of traits, speed, power, stamina, or intelligence. These families act as anchors. From there, crosses are applied with purpose, not guesswork. This ensures that vigor is harnessed, not wasted. Again, the end, hybrid vigor is a double-edged sword powerful in the hands of a breeder with vision, but dangerous for those who chase it blindly. Breeding has always been surrounded by strong opinions and heated debates. Some insist that only pure bloodlines matter, that without purity, there is no identity, no reliability, no tradition. Others argue the opposite, that only crosses can win in the pit, because hybrid vigor creates birds that no pure strain can match, but the reality is far more balanced. Both purity and crossing matter, and each plays a different, vital role. Pure lines are the foundation stones. They preserve traits like power, speed, or intelligence, 
and allow breeders to return to a reliable source generation after generation. Without them, there would be nothing stable to build from. Crosses, on the other hand, are the sharp edge of the sword. Through hybrid vigor, they take those preserved traits and amplify them, producing roosters that fight with an intensity and resilience beyond what a single line can offer. One without the other is incomplete. Pure lines without crossing risk becoming stagnant. Crosses without foundation risk becoming unstable and inconsistent. But when tradition and strategy are united, when purity provides the roots and crossing provides the wings, that is when a breeder's vision truly comes alive. How can you tell if your birds are showing signs of hybrid vigor? The proof is often visible in the brood long before they ever step into the pit. Look for these indicators, faster feathering and growth. Chicks with hybrid vigor often outpace. Their brood mates, feathering earlier and gaining size more quickly. They look more developed at the same age compared to pure line chicks. Stronger bone and body structure. Their legs are thicker, their frames sturdier, and their overall build. More solid. This strength provides the foundation for both power and endurance. Better feed conversion and appetite. Vigorous crosses often eat with more enthusiasm and convert feed into muscle efficiently, showing healthier weight gain without becoming soft. Sharper reflexes and improved endurance. These birds react faster, display better coordination, and can sustain longer training sessions without tiring easily. They seem to have a natural reserve of energy. Breeders often describe these birds as simply more alive, alert, active, and full of vitality. While not every cross will display all these traits, when you consistently see them in your yard, it's a strong sign that hybrid vigor is at work. The future of gamefowl breeding belongs to those who can master both tradition and science. For generations, breeders have relied on experience, instinct, and the wisdom passed down through families and mentors. That wisdom remains priceless. But today, science allows us to see what was once invisible, how genetics interact, how traits combine, and how hybrid vigor gives life to extraordinary performance. Hybrid vigor teaches us a powerful lesson. The secret is not only in preserving history, but in amplifying it. Pure lines are the living record of generations past, the foundation stones of the craft. Yet when combined with insight, strategy, and vision, those same lines become the building blocks of tomorrow's champions. Imagine a future where breeders not only protect the legacy of great bloodlines, but also use genetic understanding to unlock new heights of speed, power, endurance, and intelligence. A future where every cross is purposeful, Every line is respected, and every bird carries both the pride of its heritage and the promise of innovation. This is where the art of tradition meets the science of progress. And in that union, breeders are not just raising roosters. They are crafting warriors that redefine what performance means for generations to come. So in the end, what truly defines greatness? Is it the purity of the bloodline, carried like a sacred treasure through the years? Or is it the performance in the pit, where strength, speed, and endurance decide the outcome? Hybrid vigor reminds us that the strongest warriors are often not the product of a single strain, but the union of strengths, a balance where tradition and science meet. It is here that champions are born, carrying the best of both worlds. The choice, as always, rests with the breeder. You can remain with the old ways, guarding bloodlines as they have been for generations, where you can step forward, blending wisdom with strategy and shaping the future of gamefowl breeding. One thing is certain, knowledge, not chance, is the true edge. Call to action. If you believe that knowledge is the breeder's sharpest weapon, give this video a like. Share your experience in the comments below. Have you witnessed hybrid vigor in your own flock? And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into gamefowl history, breeding science, and the untold secrets behind the bloodlines.